Now, Wilbur, listen to me. The first thing I want you to do is tie the rope to the bucket handle. Tie it tight. Okay. All right, I got it, I got it. Take her away. Just tie the rope around your waist and you'll be home free. Okay, Willie. Ready if you are. Swing me back and forth. Okay, the roof's all finished. I think you need to lose a little weight, Will. The clubhouse is looking good. It sure is. Huh? Oh. Either stick the other shoe in to match or use the paint remover over there. Where you been? Oh, I was skating on the wrong side of town and got caught. By the west side, gang? Next time I see those guys, I hope they're on a bus going north and I'm on one going south. Sounds like they gave you a pretty good scare, Tubby. They did. Hey, down there, who's flying the kite? That isn't one of our kites. I'll give you three chances to guess who's flying that kite. I'll bet you'll get it on the first try. Ah, and after they got mad at me for skating on their side of the street, they're flying a kite in our territory. Well, I guess it looks like they've decided to invade us from the air. What are we gonna do about it? Stand here like a bunch of dopes and admire their kite flying? What are we supposed to do? They gave me the bum's rush not five minutes ago. Turn about, spare play. Let's show those three jokers who's boss now. I say we attack before we cool off and lose steam. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Your baby's sure getting big. She's my favorite doll. Oh, 
along with the enemies to battle. Show no mercy. Cut him down. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. What was that? It looks like they were playing soldier again. Another pointless battle. I'd rather play with dolls than start a silly fight. Me too. Nobody ever really wins a war. Ah, oh, look out! Help! Look out! Only oh, they usually don't lose it so quickly. That's what they get for starting trouble. That's funny, but the first time they went by, I'm sure I counted four of them. That's right. There were four. Tubby's missing. I wonder what happened. If we cross the street, we'll be in the enemy territory. Their battle is with the boys. We should be safe. If the West Side Gang is holding Tubby as their prisoner, you and I have to find a way to set him free. A prisoner of war. Are you okay? Are they treating you fair and square? Mostly square. Hey, no talking to the prisoner. We want to know what we can do to help Tubby. We'll release him. Only his friends are gonna have to pay a nice little ransom to get the prisoner of war back. Just how much are you talking about? <laughs> we will release the prisoner in exchange for ten marbles. Ten marbles? Is that all I'm worth? Ten little marbles? Be thankful it's ten. I wouldn't have said any more than two. Anybody inside? It's okay. The West Side Gang is willing to release Tubby. Yeah, for ten marbles. Ah, uh -huh. ten, ten marbles? marbles? That's what they told Annie and me. Ten marbles. Is this going to take all day? <clears throat> Uh, we've decided that ten marbles is too much. Two, maybe. Wait a minute, what happened to one for all and all for one? Friendship is one thing, but after all, ten marbles cuts a lot of family ties, if you know what I mean. We'll just have to find another way to get him back, without losing our marbles. I think you already have. I've got it! How about the old saw trick? Hey, yeah! That's what they do in all the old westerns. They bake a saw into a cake or pie. Then Toby will be able to saw his way out. But none of us know how to bake a pie. You're right. You guys give up too easily. We can hide the saw in one of those good old-fashioned mud pies. She's, She's right. right. Iggy, we're going to need a slab or something for this pie. Right. And now the saw. Here you are. I wonder if Betty Crocker would approve. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm starving. I need some food. Hey, stop that yelling. Don't you know that as a prisoner, I have the right to demand food? So bring on the chow. Demand all you like. You barbarians. I'm hungry. I want some food right This guy's the worst prisoner we've ever had. Give him back. Have a little patience, you guys. This bellowing blimpo is worth ten marbles to us. My poor stomach. Where's the food I asked for? I'll starve to death. <laughs> it's the girl. You two bring us the marbles. Yeah, where are they? I don't have them. You see, the two of us are Red Cross nurses, and we brought a pie for the prisoners to hey. eat. That's the best news I've heard all day. Now maybe he'll stop kicking and screaming. Then you let us give it to him? Sure, go right ahead. Come on, Annie. Hold it. Hey, this is mud. Of course it is. Do you really expect me to eat this thing? After all, let's face it, this is just a make-believe war, so what's wrong with a make-believe pie? Go ahead. We've brought you some food. Ah! Mm. What? This is mud. You gotta be crazy. I can't eat this stuff. <coughs> I wouldn't like to be.
be on the other end of it. Where's... I'll be quiet. It didn't work. Can't you see that? They're alone. Tubby was the one that spoiled everything. Maybe it would be better if we just wrote Tubby off as a loss. Wait. There's no reason to write him off yet. I've got another idea. Not again. I don't see anyone else coming up with anything better. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Now, what's your idea? Let's get Tubby's mother. She'd be more angry at Tubby than at the gang. Not if she didn't know anything about it. Just leave everything to me. Okay, Annie? I don't understand. We don't either. If you're not going to tell Tubby's mother... Just trust me, Iggy. I know what I'm doing. Here I am, all alone. Not a friend in the world, and I'm wasting the weight and nothing. <sighs> I'm really mad now. I demand that you release me at once. There he goes again, all the time demanding. Look, Ding Dong, you're in no position to demand anything. I wonder how much longer they'll be. They don't want him back. This is kidnapping. I'll see you in court. You'll get 20 years. Would you be quiet? Hey, there's somebody coming. Huh? Who is that woman? Oh, it's me, Tubby's mother. Nobody said anything about parents getting involved in this thing. You studied it. What did you expect? She's naturally been worried about her son. How come she hasn't said a word? And you've been doing all the talking. Uh, she has a bad case of laryngitis. No, I'm not buying. Something's fishy. This whole thing sounds phony to me. If you don't let this poor, suffering woman see her son, there's no telling what might happen. All right, all right. prisoners now, so just go back and tell those other jokers that it's 20 marbles. This isn't a game. We'll keep those clowns till they grow webbed feet. Understand? The next time you have another good idea, I'd like you to try keeping it to yourself. This is a fine mess you've gotten us into, Lulu. Now there's two to worry about instead of just one, not to mention the marbles. I wish I could think of something that would help, but I can't. I think you and I have done enough already. Hey, I think I can get them out. No offense, Iggy, but you're too small. It's because I'm small that this plan is going to work. Maybe we should just give them the marbles? I just told you, I have a terrific plan. It's going to work, and I need to borrow that. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. We should get our parents. We don't need any parents. I don't know. Well, I think Iggy's idea is at least worth a try, Annie. Besides, kids shouldn't rely so much on their parents all the time to get them out of trouble. Parents aren't always around when you need them. You're right. I just hope this works. I wasn't even worth ten marbles. <sighs> Iggy's the one you talked us all into not giving up the marbles, Tubby. They probably won't pay the ransom for me either. Because of Iggy, we could be here for the rest of our lives. And my folks were planning to take me to Disneyland for my birthday next week. Mm, my poor empty stomach. Hey, if you two nurses think you're going to see the prisoner again, forget it. Please, just for a few minutes. Did you bring the 20 marbles? You guys will probably think this is funny, but my dolly is lonely and wants to see her Uncle Tubby. Her Uncle Tubby? Yes. Because it was Tubby who gave me the doll for my birthday two years ago. Don't stand so near my dolly. I don't want her to catch any of your germs. Well, does it say anything? Of course. Nowadays, dolls talk, cry, sing, walk, run, loiter. If it's so hot, then make it say Uncle Tubby. I will. Uh, Uncle Tubby, Uncle Tubby. That's an amazing thing. Now, can I please see Tubby? Go ahead. Hey, there's old Uncle Tubby now. Your dolly's here to play with you. 
The poor little dear got lonesome for her Uncle Tubby. You remember the doll that you gave me? Tubby? I thought of a plan to get you out of here. You're the bun that didn't want to pay the ransom. Another escape plan down the tubes. Now we've got another prisoner. They might as well move their clubhouse. All their members are here. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to take this message to that clubhouse. The new ransom for these mugs is 15 marbles each. Never. I'd rather not eat for a whole year. Me too. Okay, I'll relay both messages to Wilbur. Tell Wilbur no matter what happens, we'll be members if only in spirit. And that we leave behind not only our marbles, but our best wishes, too. My sentiments exactly. Okay, you guys. You guys were trying to sound pretty brave. I'm all through being brave. I want my mommy. They said that the new ransom is now 15 marbles. They won't have any better luck getting 15 than they did 10. But you have to give in some time. No, I don't. Oh, but Wilbur, they really need your help. Give one good reason why you won't give up your marbles. Simply, I don't have any. But I do have a shovel. With this, I can dig a hole and set my friends free. And we still won't have to fork over the ransom. What an exciting and daring plan, Wilbur. I can't accept full credit for the idea. I got it out of an old movie. Listen, you guys, I hate to bring this up, but what if you get caught and they have all four of you as prisoners? <clears throat> I'm afraid this is a man's job. The two of you better run along home now. After what's happened, I think we better follow him. It takes a man to do this stuff. Hey, girls. What's the trouble? The men can't do the men's jobs. That's the trouble. I won't need your help anymore. I've got everything under control now. Whoa! I wonder if he's all right. Oh, the heroes in the movies never fell down off of walls. I have to be careful and very quiet. There it is. It must be quiet as a mouse. Better be careful, or I'll be caught. Can you guys hear that peculiar noise? It's right outside. What if it's an awful bear or something come to eat us up? A bear? Do you think so? Why not? Uh. <clears throat> hey, guard, do you job, will ya? Weird noises. Around back. All right, I'll check it. It won't be much longer now before the three of them will be as free as birds. Well, look at this. Were you doing a bit of gardening? I think I should have been out digging up those 15 marbles instead of this. I think Wilbur should have gotten them out by now. Think so? Yeah. Huh. I want to see the look on the West Side Gang's faces when they find out. Move it. Well, isn't this cozy? I believe we have the entire cast now, boys. Yeah, and now we're gonna want more than just a few old marbles. Yeah, that's right. If you guys want out of here, we want them roller skates. Ew. Oh, no. What do you suppose is happening in there? Lulu, we lost. Bring the skates. But you like them so much. We have no choice now. Where are they? In a box on a shelf in the clubhouse. Okay. There it is. I found them. It seems the 
ashamed to give up these skates. I was just thinking that maybe we won't have to. Lulu, where are you? What's taking so long? Hey, look! She's got our skates! I told Lulu she couldn't use those skates! Come on, you guys, let's go! Lulu, come back here right this minute! Those are our skates! Get over here, come back here with those skates! It sure would have saved a lot of trouble. 